In today's video, we're going to show you how we dilute our chemicals. Hello everybody, my name is Phil and welcome to Miranda Detailing, where we bring you satisfying detailing videos. So in today's video, we're going to show you how we dilute our chemicals. So we have a couple of different chemicals that we use, our car shampoo, our APCs, our degreasers, our glass cleaners, and a few other ones that we use. And we keep the dilution ratios pretty standard, pretty basic. Uh, most of the APCs that we use for the interior are going to be diluted 1 to 10, sometimes 1 to 4 if we need them for heavy duty cleaning. The glass cleaner 1 to 10, uh, usually dressings, well actually the dressing that we use right now, 303 Aerospace Protectant, uh, we don't dilute. It's, it's designed to use uh, straight out of the bottle and uh, it just works better that way. We use that dressing for uh, interior leather dash components, uh, door panels, and engine uh, plastic pieces as well. And we also use them on those little boots uh, in the door jams as well as the trunk lid area. So we're going to show you how we dilute some of those chemicals. So let's go to the sink. So here is what we're going to do. So I have 3D's upholstery and carpet shampoo that I'm going to dilute into this bottle here into this gallon jug. I have citrus wash and gloss which I'm going to dilute into here. I'll show you uh, how and why I do that. And then now this is just an empty one. It's not the nano skin grease free. I used to use that. I switched over to the uh, 3D super citrus APC which I really really like. And uh, definitely check out this product. They have what they call their nano drums. It's super concentrated in a one gallon format. So this would be equivalent I guess to their five gallon um, chemicals and uh, they just have it super concentrated to fit into a one gallon form. So this is an all-purpose cleaner obviously APC, citrus APC and I use it for, like it says, uh, mostly interior stuff. I really don't use this on exterior. I use it for carpets, upholstery, leather, everything else in the inside of the vehicle. I use this also for inside carpets. This is more light duty. That's more heavy duty. But I still use both. I really do like this product. And I'll even use this product because it is lighter duty on uh, the plastics the dashboard components, the doors, and things like that. So let's get into how we dilute them. So I do have just a little funnel here, and you can get uh, a basic measuring cup like this. This is 16 ounces, you can get bigger ones. So basically what we're looking at here, this uh, bottle of course is a 32 ounce bottle, 16 ounce. So I basically use these two to dilute my products as well as I mark my one gallon jugs. And I kind of know already where the mark would be on these one gallon jugs. I'm gonna show you how we dilute the citrus wash and gloss first. So with citrus wash and gloss, this is my main uh, car shampoo that I use and I do dilute it one to 10 in the gallon form. Now, basically, I use this in my foam cannon, and it dilutes it even more. I, I really don't know how much it dilutes it in the foam cannon. It's, it's hard to tell because you have that knob on top uh, that adjusts how much soap is coming out. But when I put in about this much, so you have this little ridge here, and right at that line, basically right at the bottom of the label, is going to be your one to 10 dilution ratio mark. So I put the chemical in first and then I fill the rest up with water to about this line or sometimes a little bit more. So it dilutes it just a tad more. With these jugs, it's, it's a little different, but they're a little bit wider. So I would probably stick around the same thing. And with this little ridge here, I'd fill up the chemical to about here and the rest with water. 
if I was going to dilute a chemical 1 to 10. So here's what I do. I shake up, of course, the product because citrus wash and gloss likes to separate. And I will pour in. And I already had a little bit in here, but I'm not really worried about that. So there we go. It's just about at the line. And I will fill the rest up with water. And I do it kind of slowly so it doesn't create too much foam. All right. And then I'll just give it a little shake just to make sure that everything is going to dissolve. Citrus washing gloss is a little weird because you'll have these weird little blobs in there, but they'll dissipate. They'll mix in the water nicely. So that is how I mix up citrus washing gloss. And of course I put that in the 32 ounce uh, bottle for the foam cannon. And with the foam cannon, I can get about maybe four to five vehicles out of the 32 ounce bottle. So that's actually pretty good. This soap lasts me a long time. So diluted 10 to one in the gallon jug, and then I fill up a 32 ounce bottle. So I'd say I can get about four vehicles with a 32 ounce bottle filled with the 10 to one shampoo. So about four vehicles. And so four times four, so that's 16. And then 16, so roughly average, maybe 150 cars out of one gallon of citrus wash and gloss. Let's dilute the upholstery shampoo. So 3D's upholstery shampoo, I dilute also 10 to one. So it's pretty thick, it's almost like a gel. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to fill up to that little line there. Okay, so that's about to the line, and then I'll fill that up with water. And again, I'll fill it slowly. It's a little bit too fast. So, slowly. Okay, on to 3D Super Citrus. Now this is extremely, extremely concentrated. So if we look at what we have going on here, it will say dilution ratio by hand. If you put it in one of those little machines, it's great. But if you're doing it by hand, it says max strength, four and a half ounces per one gallon. That is crazy. Super strength, four ounces per one gallon. If you wanna do regular strength, three ounces per one gallon. So with this, I usually do four to four and a half ounces. So I'm gonna go with four ounces per one gallon. So what I'm gonna do is fill this up first. It's just easier to do it this way because that foams. So I'm going to take my measuring cup and four ounces is just this much. If you can see that, that's four ounces per one gallon. So I just give this a light little, not really even a shake, just a tipping. And I always have a microfiber around here just in case because 
If you get this onto countertops, it could damage it. I don't know, but I don't want to risk it. So we are looking, whoa, that's way too much. That's six ounces. And this stuff smells really good. It just smells like fresh oranges. Okay. So we are looking at four ounces now. So let's pour this in. And I left a little bit of room up there because I'll fill this with a little bit of water just to kind of flush out the rest of the cleaner. There you go. You can see it's really, it really foams up a lot. I'm being very, very gentle with it. Okay, now you can see it turns the water that color, and it's pretty strong. Wow, yeah, it smells really, really nice. I love this cleaner. So that's how I dilute my Super Citrus APC, my Citrus Wash and Gloss, and my 3D Carpet Shampoo. So I do the same thing with all the rest of my chemicals. My glass cleaner is diluted one to 10, so I use that mark in the bottom of the gallon jug and pre-dilute my glass cleaner in gallon jugs like this so it's ready to go. Um, I also have a few other of my cleaners. Oh, super clean, I do the same thing, except with super clean, what I'll do is I'll take a 32 ounce bottle like this and with a gallon jug, I will just simply fill up a 32 ounce bottle full of super clean, undiluted, and then I fill that into the gallon jug and then fill that the rest with water. And of course you're at one to four with that. And I do like to mix it one to four. You can do one to five. I like to do one to four because I use it on tires and rims and grungy areas and engine compartments and door jams and all of those, sometimes carpets if they're really gross and grungy, um, interior plastic and, and rubber mats, I'll use them on as well. So that's an easy ratio to remember. One to four, just take 32 ounces because 32 ounces is a quarter of 128 ounces. So that's easy to remember. And if you get a nice little measuring cup like this, this is 16 ounces, make sure that you get them so that they are you know, half sizes of things that you already have. So 16 ounces, 32 ounces, it's easy to remember uh, that way. And then you can even measure out in your gallon jug and mark it the way that you want. And then just put here, if it's diluted uh, one to 10, you can mark it here if you want, if, if you wanna remember that. Um, but if you don't need to, that's not a problem but mark it on the gallon jugs here as well. So you can mark this one to 10. You can put in 32 ounces. It'll probably bring it up to around, around here or so, and you can mark that, that's one to four. Um, you can measure out how many ounces for one to five, and you can mark that here. So just use a permanent marker and mark it, and that way you can pre-dilute all of your chemicals at once and put them in your truck or in your garage, and you have them all set. So much easier to keep track of your uh, chemicals and, and your dilution ratios as well. All right, guys, so that's how we dilute some of those chemicals. Again, we keep them pretty basic. It's really not too difficult. Most cleaners uh, are going to be diluted either one to 10, one to four. There's some that may say one to five, one to six, one to eight. And uh, you know, if you need to do that, then you can 
uh, follow the chart uh, that we have. We'll provide a, a little chart here uh, as well as uh, a downloadable one on our website. So check out the description below and we'll put a link to a downloadable dilution ratio chart that you could use. But definitely pick up some of those plastic um, measuring cups. It makes it so much easier for diluting things. And you don't need to worry about being exact. If you're off by an ounce or two, it's really not gonna make that much of a difference. Just make sure that you are getting close to the dilution ratio. But if you're a stickler, then get those measuring cups and make sure to dilute them exactly to the ounce, to the number that you want, and you'll be good to go. Now, another thing you can do if, you're, if you don't wanna carry uh, gallon jugs is you can do the same thing with the 32 ounce bottles. So take your measuring cup and find out what your dilution ratio is going to be for whatever chemical and kind of do a test with your measuring cup. So say fill it up with however X amount of water that you need for the uh, dilution ratio and then pour it into the 32 ounce bottle and mark that at whatever dilution ratio it is. So if it's going to be one to four, one to five, one to six and so on, then take a permanent marker, mark it on the 32 ounce bottle and then you can work from there. Now you can either add the chemical first, um, which some people like to do that. I usually do that just because it's easier. Or you can add the water first and then you can add the chemical after that. That does help because then you don't fill the bottle up with water and it, and it creates too much foam in the sink. But to each their own, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, so I'm no chemist, but if anyone wants to correct me on that as to why you should put water in first before you put the chemical, I haven't found it to make any difference in cleaning ability or anything like that. I think it's just ease of use, really. So if you want to do that, then, you know, kind of reverse your testing, find out how many ounces of water, fill up your water bottle first, mark that, and uh, work from your from the top to the bottom. Either way, you're gonna get your dilution ratios down. So if you wanna pre-dilute them in the 32 ounce bottles, do that. I like to use the gallon jugs, they last longer. I can put them in my truck and I have them there when I need them. And uh, it just makes things so much easier. So if you guys have any other questions about diluting things, um, easier for detailing, or if you have any other tips or tricks that you do, or that you use, then let me know down below, comment. Keep it civil, please, as well and let me know what you think as far as diluting chemicals. And if you want a list of some of those products, check them out either below or click up here and this brings you to a page on our website that has most of our products on there. We're still adding some uh, that we use that we can find on Amazon and you'll see a nice list of the pictures uh, of all the different products and tools that we use and you can simply click on them and it brings you right to Amazon where you can purchase them easily. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop and you don't miss stuff. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.